Hey, this is Toe 2 Bravo, and we're out at the range again today. And what we've got today is our Polymer 80 Glock 19 build. These will be the first rounds out of this pistol. We're here to check functionality. If all goes well, we'll do some accuracy also. And we're also shooting our Magpul Glock magazines for the first time today also. So, without any further ado, let's see what the hell we get. Here we go. First round's down range. Polymer 80, Glock 19. Here we go. Range. All right, second series, polymer 80. Here we go. yards. Here we go. Second series accuracy polymer one eighty seven yards. I pulled that shot. Here we go. Accuracy, number three, seven yards, here we go. So here we go. For accuracy, with adjusted point of aim. Series number six, seven yards, accuracy, here we go.
Malfunction. Malfunction number one. Right there. Feed malfunction out of a Magpul magazine. Let's try it again. Final series, rapid fire. Here we go. We are using a Glock OEM, Glock 17 magazine. Here we go. Rapid fire, best I can. All right, it's down range. All right, we're wrapping it up for the day. Um, kind of mixed results. Uh, shoots well, recoils nice. Uh, I've got these Ameriglow uh, target fiber sights on here. Steel on the back, obviously. Fiber optic on the front. And my point of aim, if I'm at seven yards and I'm aiming the red fiber circle at the bullseye, I'm hitting, I'm hitting an inch and a half, two inches low from the bullseye. Pretty much center mass. Now if I dot the bullseye with the fiber optic, then I'm hitting center mass or maybe just a hair high. So the sights aren't point of aim, point of impact as they are in my Glock 5, or I'm sorry, in my Glock 19 Generation 5. So I may have to look into that or I may just have to adjust my aim accordingly to this. It's going to take some more shooting. Uh, today it was 150 rounds through this. I had uh, two light primer strikes. I didn't get those on video, unfortunately, but I had two light primer strikes. Both of those were out of a Magpul uh, magazine. I don't know that if that has anything to do with it or not, but they did happen utilizing the Magpul magazine. And then I had one failure to feed that was also in the Magpul, or coming out of the Magpul magazine. I didn't have any failures uh, using any of the OEM Glock magazines. I'll tear apart the slide, I'll check the, uh, the firing pin and all that, I'll check all the springs and those mechanisms there to make sure everything uh, works fine. Now I've shot rounds after those, I've reshot the, the light primer strike rounds and uh, everything fired. So I'm happy well, with the build and I'm on a scale of uh, 1 to 10, I'm about a, a 7 on performance. Um, I was a little thrown off by the sights because they're not uh, point of aim, point of impact like my other pistols are. So I may have to look into this or make some adjustments. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't understand why they're not. It's the same setup that I have on my uh, Glock 19 Gen 5. So I'll have to sort through that and I'm going to have to sort out whether I'm having problems with the Magpul magazines or whether I had some isolated problems with the uh, Polymer 80 Glock 19. So I, I don't have those answers right now, so I have to sort all that out. Uh, it was a good shoot. Um, I was thrown off on the accuracy a little bit, I think. Not making excuses, but I think I was thrown off a little bit uh, by the point of aim thing. I was uh, spent a lot of time trying to figure out what the actual point of aim to point of impact was on this. Uh, shouldn't have been any different in my, in my mind, but uh, perhaps I'm missing something. So, still is a good time to be out at the range. It was good to shoot this. It was uh, it was a success. Maybe not 100%, but uh, still very successful. Lots of fun to shoot, and I want to sort through this and try to figure it out and see if I can isolate what the problem was, whether it was the magazine or whether it was uh, the pistol itself. So this is Toe 2 Bravo. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you out at the range again.